Hey guys, Metroid Prime Fan 18 here, and this is going to be a vlog about my day. This day has easily, for me, been my worst day ever in a long time, and it was mainly car related. So here's here's the whole story, the unadulterated, aggravating, depressing story. Okay, so today was a pretty normal day at the start. I go to my electrical engineering class. Instead of a lecture, we're having recently we watched this movie about this this hacker telling all kinds of funny stuff about what he does for this company he works for. And there's about four minutes left in the movie, but class time is already over, and his computer dies, so we can't see the rest of the movie. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I just go back to my car, and I unlock the passenger side to put my books back in my car. I lock the doors again for some stupid reason, and then I go to unlock the driver's side, and my alarm goes off. First off, we didn't even think this car had an alarm. Second of all, I could not get this thing to shut up. All you have to do when you're unlocked or, or when you're shutting off a car's alarm, all you have to do really is stick your key in the ignition and turn it. That didn't work, and it just kept going on and on and on. This thing is loud. I mean, this thing was just blaring loud. And this woman told me I had to keep turning it off and on and off and on again, and that wasn't working. So I just decided, okay, fine, I'll just put a little gas in it. So I, I put it into reverse, I hit the gas, and apparently I hit it too hard. This car just rockets backward. Luckily, there's no car behind me. I slam on the brakes. The door, which is still open, because I didn't think it was going to go this fast, slams close. It just slams closed on my leg. It didn't hurt or anything, but it's just kind of surprising. This door just just chomped on my leg and that finally got the alarm to shut off and I, I, I slowly put it back in drive and put it back in the parking space and this woman t tells me it's probably a fuse that's blown so I have to go to the uh, auto shop or an auto shop so I decided to go to the one that's near my house since there's a guy I know who works there and he was a former neighbor of mine for like three years. I babysat his kids all the time. So I go there. It's like a 15-minute drive. As soon as I get to the parking space and put it in the park, the alarm goes off again. And this time it goes on for like seven minutes straight. The manual says the car's alarm is supposed to shut off after three minutes. Didn't do that this time. So we're taking a look at the car under the hood with the alarm still blaring right in our ears. He removes the horn relay, so that stops the horn from honking. But the alarm... The alarm horn is still going off <clears throat> and we don't know what the hell is causing it and he's he, he doesn't know anything really about alarm systems so he calls up this guy who does know stuff about alarm systems and we finally get to shut off and he tells me the reason this happened is because my little the lock and unlock buttons on the keychain the buttons that lock and unlock your doors was acting funny and it was causing the alarm to go off or something I don't know and he told me that in order to stop this, I had to unlock the passenger side door with my actual key, then press the unlock button inside that door, then get into the driver's side. So I call my mom about this, and she tells me, because I don't want to risk this thing going off again while I'm at college. Luckily, this is my only long day before fall break starts. I only have one more day tomorrow, and that's my 5.30 class, only class day. Or my only class is my 5.30 class. And she tells me to come down to her work, which is like 30 minutes away, not to mention like 20 miles, if not more, to switch out cars. And I'm driving in rain here, heavy rain. And I run into two huge obstacles on the way back. There's two trucks that are carrying houses, and then this cop, who's not even after me, that comes this close to fishtailing my car. So I finally get to my mom's work, I put it in park, she comes out and takes a look at it. She, had, she does the same thing I did that set off the alarm, this time the alarm doesn't go off. So I'm just like, okay, what's going on here? So she tells me that for the rest of the day, I can just take her car. So I do. I take her car, I go back to my college, go to my second class. It gets out a half hour early, and I just want to go home and rest on my third class. So I get in the car, and I notice I forgot to turn off the headlights, which, yes, is a stupid mistake, I know. And the car doesn't start. The battery dies. It dies in the parking lot. And I call my mom about this, and she tells me that she's left her headlights on for at least four hours at one time. This is only for slightly over two. She slept hers on over four hours before, and afterwards, the car still ran perfectly fine. It just dies on me. So she has to get herself out of work, go buy a pair of jumper cables. We have to push her car out of the lot 
or out of the parking space into the lot while there are cars going by. They're having to squeeze through the backs of both cars in order to get by. And this, it's still raining. We're doing this in the rain. We have to give the car a jump, which we do. So then both cars work. She takes hers back. I take mine back. And I go home and rest. And luckily from there, everything came back to normal. In my last class, luckily it ended on a high note. I got a high C on a writing assignment in English, and I got a 93 in my math test. So I'm happy about that. But I mean, the car fiasco today was just overwhelming. And I was embarrassed as hell when I could not get my alarm to shut off. I mean, because like I said, usually all you have to do is put the key in the ignition and turn it. And that'll turn the alarm off. But no, I had to go all the way to the advanced auto parts store. We had to disconnect and reconnect the battery. And now that we've done that, my radio has to be reprogrammed. Because of a certain feature that makes it know that it's not stolen. So I have to input some four-digit code. And I don't even have the manual to tell me the code. And it's four numbers. Each of those four number slots can be ten different numbers. That's 10,000 combinations of numbers. And I'm not going to try and guess that on my way home. I'm just going to try and reprogram it tomorrow when I have the time. And luckily, no more alarm mishaps that day. That day. Anymore. Today. So. There you go. There's my hell of an adventure day. I mean. And I was embarrassed as hell when my alarm went off. And I didn't want this thing. I didn't want that happening again while I was at college. Hell no. And then when the car, other car would start. And I also left my lights on in my car too. But that time when I went into my engineering class. And that was only for 55 minutes. I'm starting to think maybe that was my car's warning telling me that the battery was getting low. If that was the case though, I wouldn't have been able to drive, you know, a combined total of like an hour today. But, um, so there you go. And you can imagine how pissed off I was. I mean, first my car's alarm just randomly starts going berserk. Then her car dies. We have to give it a jump in the rain, in a parking lot, in the most crowded parking lot at the entire college. <sighs> I'm just glad it's all over. Luckily, my last class tomorrow, or my last day of this week tomorrow before fall break starts, is my one class day and it doesn't start till 5.30, so that's a plus. And this day did have a few high notes. But I never want to go through that again. Not for a long, 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 long time. And we still don't know what caused the alarm to go off. We're, we're, I mean, there's a chance this could happen again. But for now, I'm going to say it was the lights that did this. Just turn my lights off next time. Please, God, do not embarrass me like that again. Alright, I should say, please, car, don't embarrass me like that again. So there you go. There's my hectic ass worst day ever. All around the entire city of Huntsville, going for jumper cables, switching out cars, switching back cars, giving cars jumps. It was crazy. So there's there's my few words on this. And uh, with that, Metroid, signing off.